All right, so we're corn underneath this sidewalk, putting in a new line. All these lines were full of shingle gravel. There was no catch basin. I want to show show you guys what this does when you don't have a catch basin for shingle gravel. So this entire pipe is full. Like it weighs a crazy amount of weight because of how heavy the shingle gravel is. But the entire four inch system was full of shingle gravel. So they had to pay to have a whole new system put in because literally when it's gravel from the gutter all the way to the pop-up there's nothing you can do so these are two by three downspouts and i keep saying that two by three downspouts you don't want to put a four inch line on a single two by three downspout now we'll run this two by three and this two by three into you know two three inch lines we'll actually keep them on the three inch line because look at that little gutter up there so those are just little ornamental gutters there's no water whatsoever you're fine you can go ahead and cut that there's there's nothing for high volume so we're going to take those two gutters keep them on the three inch line it's a three inch plus which i like it's a really nice size for the two by three downspouts. It really is. Now, if both downspouts looked like that, where it's a real dominant run, responsible for all that rooftop water, including some coming off the second story, then that's a different story. Like you wanna put both of them on their separate three inch line and then if you merge them together, you want to use a four inch Y and we've showed that in many videos. 